Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Chief Engineer Ravi Gupta. Today, we'll talk about the overview of a PSC. That why we need a PSC, what is the importance of PSC, what is the role of PSC, what are the common area where the PSC carry out the inspection. After that, we'll see that what are the key area of inspection and then we'll see what are the consequence of non-compliance and the best practice to follow, followed by collaboration and the future of PSC. So this video is going to be interesting, please tune till last, I guarantee after the, watching the video you will have a clear knowledge about the PSC. Friend, those who want to know more detail about the PSC, you can see the playlist of Marine Engineering Hub in which you can find each and everything about the PSC right from Form A, Form B, Clear Ground, Model Inspection, Paris MU, Tokyo MU, what is MU and all that. So let's start today's video of PSC. So, why we need a PSC? Because we need a PSC so that the port authority can carry out the inspection when the foreign ship call to their national port. The PSC carry out the wide range of inspection including the ship, equipment, crew and documentation. If a ship is found to be non-compliant after carrying out the inspection, in that case they can take various action depending upon the non-compliance. The action which will they will take will depend upon the rules and regulation which have been set by the international body. And the PSC is not enforcing the rule, they are actually promoting the safety culture which is missing in the ship for which they are inspecting. So basically the importance of PSC is having is that it ensures safe and efficient port operation. Why? Because they make sure that the vessel crew or cargo which is working in their national port are complying with the international regulation. If you are by complying, what is happening? If a ship is complying with international rules and regulation, in the, it means the ship is maintained perfectly and therefore the overall efficiency of a ship will increase, which can result in a cost saving and long run accident free and incident free operation in the port. Therefore non-compliance is having a serious consequence. So what is the role of PSC in ensuring the compliance? So PSC is what PSC is doing? PSC is basically a critical tool for detecting non-compliant ship. So PSC is helping reduce non-compliant ship. After, afterward, PSC is also an essential part of an international regulatory framework. It is doing the inspection by continuously carrying out the inspection by trained and qualified inspector who know the rules and regulation of an international body and based on that they are carrying out the inspection to ensure that the established procedure and the guideline is been followed. PST is having a significant impact on shipping operation and also on the owner of the ship. PSC can also serve as a deterrent to non-compliance. So this is the role of a main PSC is help in directing the non-compliant ship is the path of it is an essential part of regulatory framework they have contained trained personnel which are carrying out the inspection to ensure that they establish the procedure and guideline they are impacting the shipping not only impacting the shipping also the helping the owner to ensure that their ship is running with full compliance and it is acting as a type of deterrent for a non-compliance now what are the area where the PSC will ch check? So PSC will check basically the six area. One is the documentation, second is safety, third is the struggle integrity, fourth is the machinery, fifth is the crew living condition, and sixth is the environment compliance check. In documentation, it means they will check that document certificate are in conjunction with the international rules and regulation. Safety equipment such as lifeboat, firefighting equipment, and the other navigation equipment are working properly or not. Struggle integrity they will check that a ship should not have any crack, leak and the structural condition of a ship should be in a good condition. Machinery part they will check that the engine, generator and the other machinery are working perfectly. Crew living condition they will check the accommodation, crew changing locker room and the moving mess room ensuring that proper hygiene is been made. Six. They will check the environment regulation and they will check the OWS 
sewage and the garbage system is following the rules and regulations or not so basically whenever a psc come on board they will make sure that the crew on board are able to communicate properly the key crew members such as chief engineer chief officer captain and second engineer are able to communicate freely and able to make the crew understand about the rules and regulation after that they will check the fire safety equipment such as co2 room they will check that the condition of co2 room is good and it can be deployed in any time if they find that the bursting disks the hose the manifold is having cracked the hose is burst the bursting disk is cracked or the bottle is gone in that case lightweight in that case they may retain a ship they will check the working living condition of on board the ship they will see the crew changing locker is properly maintained the crew hygiene the mess room is properly maintained the food is kept in a proper way that they will check they will check the stru structural integrity of a ship overall condition they will check that there should not be any major leakage or the cargo condition cargo tank condition should be in good condition the overall structural deterioration should not be there which endangers the ship they will check the documentation to ensure the document which are present on board are as per international rules and regulation and they are not invalid after that the key area of inspection during psc is first is safety second is security third is environment and fourth is the living and working condition if they ask what are the four pillar of a psc based on which the checking are done so these are the four pillars safety security environment and living and working condition basically if you are not following international rules and regulation in that case first they will impose a fine second if the you have already rules and regulation in severe way in that case it can lead to a detention because of fine and detention the company performance will get bad because it will be automatically registered in the mus that a shipping company of this name their ship is been detained in this areas and for that the mus list performance company performance will get bad and if the ship is maintained bad condition it can have also have a environmental impact so the best practice is to ensure that you always do the proper crew training time to time to ensure that your key crew members and the crew, crew members know their duty well well conversant second is that you should carry out the maintenance and repair at the proper interval of time to ensure that your ship is maintained in proper condition you should also maintain all the record keeping all the necessary permits all the necessary document are to be kept in a readiness condition the communication should be good with the key crew members and whenever you are carrying out any job you should carry proper risk assessment with the help of a psc and shipping company collaboration we are trying to improve communication we are trying to ensure that the responsibility is been shared properly we are trying to ensure that the environmental is protected and the training and education is given to the crew seafarer in a proper way to ensure that the ship is running safe and along with that with the new, new innovation technology such as ballast water treatment plant the coming of imo sulfur cap and the other thing is coming up so we have to make sure that we ensure safe operation now what is the future of psc so as you know the technology advancement will always been coming so in that case the psc will now also enhance their way of inspection as you are seeing right now the waiting inspection has been improved now the waiting 2.0 in which the waiting inspector is coming with a tap so in that way it may happen that they may come with a some type of sensor drone or some other monitoring system by which they can cover more area with a greater impact and greater areas second they can the change in international regulations such as sulfur cap and the balsa treatment plan the industry is investing a lot of money so in order to ensure that while the investment remains fruitful we need to ensure with the compliance the third is that because we are doing all the innovation why we are doing all the innovation to ensure that the sustainability of environment is sustainability and the environment are maintained properly in order to ensure that we have to 
make a eco friendly technology and we have to ensure that we promote that area of eco friendly technology the infrastructure and technology of psc will also improve which causes a great emphasis on safety security and efficiency so basically the psc will also evolve along with the evolving technology and they will also focus more areas so friend if you have learned something in this video please do like share